Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of September 2nd through the 9th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, very interesting. We have the um, Justice, I almost said Lovers. We have the Justice, which is you, Libra. We have the Hanged Man, which is Pisces, the Empress, and the Emperor. So seeing the Empress and the Emperor come through, I find very interesting. Uh, for some of you, it could be something like either there is this very... This is going to be very specific, so if it doesn't resonate completely, um, just know that there will be other messages coming through. But, you know, initially what I'm getting here is like a father wound and a mother wound or like a paternal situation, maternal situation, like mom, dad. It's like there's something about parental kind of like energy here that seems to be um, coming through. I feel like with the justice, some of you could be dealing maybe with some sort of a custody thing. Maybe you're dealing with a situation where it kind of feels like, you know, you're trying to get some sort of justice for something that maybe you went through or maybe something that someone owes you. Or I just kind of feel like someone has to make something right in order for you to feel validated. I kind of feel like with this hanged man, there's this feeling of being stuck, not really knowing what to do about a situation. But I also kind of feel like there's this very like peaceful sort of um, understanding, mature energy coming through from the justice. Um, so it's kind of like even though, you know, you are feeling this way, overall, I feel like there is this energy of optimism where you know that eventually things are going to be okay. It's not like you're looking at the situation and saying, oh my gosh, it's going to be a disaster. Nothing's going to work out in my favor. You know, in fact, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Four of Wands. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles, you know, for the most part, it's very positive energy. I mean, just with the Nine of Pentacles and Four of Wands alone behind the Ace, it's kind of like you know that your time is, is coming up. You know, your opportunity, your moment to shine, to get that karmic justice is here. I feel like with that Nine of Pentacles, you should feel confident. You should feel proud, first and foremost, um, about something that you have going on or that you're doing or that you've accomplished. For some of you, it could be something like you are waiting for you know, maybe a, a maternal or paternal energy to say, hey, I'm proud of you, you know, like, I'm, I, I see you, I recognize you, it could be something like that. But let's just go ahead and clarify the Empress. So we have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some of you are trying to move on. I feel like you're trying to move forward and really focus on the future and not the past. Um, I get the sense that with that Empress energy, it is Venus, that is Libra, that is Taurus, that's your energy. I feel like you are trying to focus on what you need to do to be able to move forward. So we have the Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Moon, which is Cancer. I feel like there is a little bit of this kind of like unknown in your path that you're trying to figure out. So with that Seven of Cups, you're looking at all of the options. You're trying to decide which way you want to go um, or what you need to do first. I get the energy of like needing to prioritize. So with that King of Pentacles, again, there is this, you know, responsibility coming through here as well. So I feel like this week what you're doing is really trying to, um, you know, almost like recognize that this could be a situation where you have to be independent. But maybe you're thinking it would be nice if, you know, I also got this support or if I had, you know, maybe someone to cheer me on or something like that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify the Emperor. We have the Ace of Wands. I feel like right now your perspective is very um, solution focused. It's very goal oriented, future oriented. Um, I feel like you are really thinking about, you know, what you're going to do next more than what hasn't happened or what happened um, in the past that didn't go well. Like that's not where your mind is at all. So Libra, I want to just, you know, validate that you really are on a good path right now, just in terms of your perspective um, about your future and your life. We have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. I definitely feel like you are connecting to somebody here. 
um, that has some sort of an impact or an influence on where you are headed. So we have the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, maybe a uh, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like with that Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands, there's an age difference here that seems to stand out for some of you, kind of like you are trying to um, maybe also... It's not so much of an age difference as a perspective difference based off of age or experience. So maybe you're getting some sort of uh, wisdom or advice from an older energy, an older individual. But then you're also getting advice from a younger one that is a little bit more new, more modern. So you're really trying to maybe even take from both of those philosophies, right, with this Ace of Wands and kind of create your own. I just feel like you are maybe getting the best of both worlds here and then trying to pave your own way um, from what you've gained from that. So with that Four of Swords, it's almost like you're taking a moment to just meditate on all of the information that you've received, maybe all of the downloads, and you're getting ready to make a major decision for yourself. Let's go ahead and clarify the Hanged Man. King of Wands, so more of that fire energy. Again, we, we're seeing a lot of parallels between divine feminine and divine masculine of the same kind. So first we saw that pairing of the Emperor and the Empress. Then now we're seeing the um, Queen of Wands with the King of Wands. I mean, even seeing the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles, there's just a lot of similarities here. Um, so, you know, I kind of just feel like you are in between two worlds almost in a way here, Libra, but we have the King of Wands to clarify the Hanged Man. So for some of you, I feel like you are trying to, again, make some sort of movement here. We have the Six of Swords coming through um, with this energy as well as the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So part of you wants to make a very big decision. Some of you may fear um, if this decision is happening too fast, if it's too impulsive, right? Some of you are kind of going back and forth between one approach versus another. So this Nine of Swords kind of comes through as that anxiety, that worry, that overthinking. But I do feel that there's something about this week where you're getting some form of reassurance or some form of closure about which direction you should go or which strategy to take or, you know, how to make this move. Let's go ahead and clarify the justice yeah three of wands so definitely there's something about you moving on here we have the four of wands king of wands again and the six of cups so i feel like this is something about you making peace with your past and then that's how you're moving on from something so with that four of wands and the king of wands whatever accomplishment that you're getting close to right now libra that's your way of proving that you are no longer associating with your past or associating with something um, that used to maybe define you in a way or that you thought defined you. I kind of feel like with this King of Wands, you're really kind of getting into this very strong and dependent energy. I feel like that's what this is all about. And then with the Four of Wands, it's that moment where you say, I did it. I Maybe, I, you know, I had to do it alone or I had to, you know, somehow figure it out, but I finally achieved this. And I just feel like it's going to be very validating and satisfying. So, Really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.